hip-hop world was shocked to hear about the passing of Shock G, real name Gregory Jacobs. His funeral was held in Florida and was attended by other music icons such as Busta Rhymes, Jermaine Dupri and CeeLo Green. Digital Underground were reported to have presented the service. Shock G was found deceased in a Florida hotel room on April the 22nd. He was only 57. A statement released by his family said, The cause of death is currently unknown. We truly, truly appreciate all the outpouring of love and concern. Please keep us in your prayers at this very difficult time. Shock G's father confirmed that an autopsy was requested to determine the cause of death. That happy persona seemingly faded in the months leading up to his death. Tampa police records show the 57-year-old, also known as Gregory Jacobs, struggled with drug use. In February, he was taken into protective custody after he was found, quote, stumbling around downtown Tampa in his boxers after using drugs and alcohol. Results of an autopsy to determine Jacobs' cause of death are not expected to be complete for several weeks. Digital Underground's Chopmaster J released a tribute on Instagram saying, 34 years ago, almost to the day, we had a wild idea. We could be a hip hop band and take on the world. Through it all, the dream became a reality and the reality became a nightmare for some. And now he's awakened from the fame. Long live Shock G, AKA Humpty Hump, and rest in peace my brother, Greg Jacobs. Shock G started Digital Underground with Chopmaster J and the late Kenny K in 1987. They were from the East Coast, but relocated to the Oakland area of California. They brought the funk, the humor, and the crazy costumes, as well as the energetic dance moves, which required them to hire some Humpty dancers, one of which was Tupac Shakur. Digital Underground's early singles included Underwater Rhymes and Do What You Like, which was when the world was introduced to Gregory's alter ego, Humpty Hump. They released their debut studio album, Sex Packets, in 1990. Their second single, The Humpty Dance, was a huge hit and reached number 11 on the Billboard Hot 100. Tupac was also new to the Oakland area and originally from the East Coast. It was in the Oakland area where Tupac's music career took off. Shock G is credited for giving him his first big break. Tupac made his recording debut on Digital Underground's 1991 single, Same Song. Tupac, go ahead and rock now this. Clown around when I hang around with the underground. Tupac had to pay his dues back in the day and was a Humpty dancer and hype man before getting the opportunity to rap on the track with Digital Underground. Tupac's early singles had completely different themes from Same Song and the style of Digital Underground. Trapped, was the lead single from his debut album, Topocalypse. It touched upon heavy issues such as police brutality during a time when cultural wars were in full effect. Tupac himself had taken the Oakland Police Department to court for an incident in which he sustained injuries while detained for jaywalking. Uh, my name is John Burris and I am here today with my client uh, Tupac Amor Shakir as well as other members of the uh, Digital Underground uh, rap group and some members of the Digital uh, Underground uh, rap group. They were charging me with jaywalking, so I was riffing, arguing about why would they charge me with such a petty crime. So I kept yelling, asking them to give me my citation and let me go about my business. Next thing I know, my face was being buried into the concrete and I was laying face down in the gutter, waking up from being unconscious in cuffs with blood on my face and I'm going to jail for resisting arrest. On his second single, Brenda's Got a Baby, he highlighted the plight of a 12-year-old girl who had a child and was living in the most horrifying of circumstances. This was a far cry from the humorous, light-hearted material of Digital Underground. Rap fans who recognised Park as a Humpty dancer probably would have done a double take seeing his debut music videos. It would have been hard for some to believe it was the same person. Shock G and Chopmaster J said Tupac was willing to do whatever it took to make it in the business. In an interview with Rolling Stone, Chopmaster J said, A digital underground show was like a vaudevillian variety show. Tupac was the guy who filled the buckets with popcorn filled up the buckets with confetti, made sure the cork was off the champagne bottles. 
You know it's Karate Kid, man. Wax on, wax off. Paint the house. Tupac did what he had to do. He joined the circus. He came on out and he did everything he had to do till he became the star. He said on tour, Tupac would take part in rap battles. He could freestyle. He sounded how he sounds when he writes. Park was the one that we brought to the battles. I'd always have a pre-written battle rap in case I got back into a corner. But to come off the head, we knew Park was our dude. He was our soldier. Tupac was like an intern at first, but that didn't last long. In 1990, he was a Humpty dancer. But by the end of 91, he had released to Apocalypse Now and made his first appearance in a movie. In 1992, he landed his first starring role with the movie Juice. What's up? And had his first platinum selling album. But this is my opportunity. This is my door. It was beyond that with Tupac. His loyalty went deeper than that. He, we were like family to him, you know. We got him his first apartment. He had no credit. He couldn't drive. He had no driver's license. So we used to have to work the applications. And we would all pitch in and borrow a credit card and co-sign. And we did all the shit we had to do. We tried to teach him how to run his bank account and how to uh, take care of his place. I could tell you stories, man. As well as pioneering digital underground, and giving Tupac his big break. Shock G was also a gifted pianist and producer. He worked on Tupac's breakthrough single, I Get Around, in which he also appeared as a featured artist. Shock G also produced Tupac's 1995 single, So Many Tears, off his third album, Me Against the World. As a producer, he also worked with Bobby Brown, Dr. Dre and Prince, who he highly regarded. On working with Prince, Shock G, told Vibe in 2010, I had one foot in hip hop, being a DJ, and the other foot in P-Funk. I was a self-taught musician on piano. Playing instruments was something you didn't see in hip hop. And on top of that, I was a huge Prince fan. I loved that he did it all, in the studio and by himself. I figured the more MCs you would see, the less fans would figure out that I was the piano man, and Humpty Hump, and Shock G. At that time, if you seemed like you knew a lot about playing music, you were considered less hip-hop. Shock G and Prince first met at a party. He was dressed as his Humpty persona, so he felt he had to stay in character. He didn't really feel free to be Gregory. He said Stevie Wonder was also there and he was cracking up, seeing the two of them meet as they were both dressed elaborately in crazy outfits. Shock G's beat was used for the remix of Prince's song love sign. Speaking of Digital Underground's musical style, Shock G said, each individual has its own set of influences, from Jimi Hendrix to Errol Garner, via George Clinton, from hip-hop to doo-wop, from jazz to R&B to funk and rock. Sometimes we'll combine any two, three or more styles, and sometimes we'll stick to just one. It depends on whoever is getting involved in the track. There's often plenty of different things happening in our songs, but that doesn't mean we're not into the idea of doing a simple rap over a basic beat. We like doing real straight stuff, real hardcore stuff too. I didn't want Bubblegum, Fun and Games with Humpty to be Digital's only legacy. Shock G also made several TV and film appearances. He was in Nothing But Trouble with Dan Aykroyd. He also did the voiceover for his character in the 2017 biopic, all Eyes On Me, and appeared in several music documentaries. He also toured and performed with George Clinton and P-Funk. Legendary master of funk, Boosie Collins tweeted, oh no, not Shock G, and his alter ego, Humpty Hump. He helped keep P-Funk alive. He is responsible for Digital Underground's The Humpty Dance, Tupac's breakthrough single, I Get Around, and co-producer of Tupac's debut album, To Apocalypse Now. Prayers to the family and friends, Dang. He was a multi-talented musician, songwriter, producer, visual storyteller and rapper. No doubt his passing is another huge loss in the industry and most importantly to his family, friends, colleagues and fans. Which song do you remember Shock G most for? Thanks for watching. Share your thoughts below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to click the bell for more.